Welcome crypto champions. Today there will be two articles that are intertwined and touch on the topic of the huge investment from Wales in XRP. So, I'll read them first, and then give a comment on both at once. At the end of the video will be a market overview. Let's get started. Data from BCBS shows worldwide, banks commit $205 million to XRP. Financial institutions in Europe, North America, and various other regions have acknowledged their investments in XRP. The Basel Committee on Banking Supervision, BCBS, has disclosed engaging in various supervisory activities in response to the emergence of virtual assets over the years. The BCBS Committee gathered detailed data on banks' crypto holdings, including information about individual crypto assets. In total, 19 banks presented data on their crypto assets investments. Ten of the banks were from countries in North America, while seven were European banks, the other two were from other regions exposures to XRP and other crypto. According to the report, the collective disclosure from the banks indicated that their crypto exposures amounted to 9.4 billion euros or $10.27 billion. Furthermore, the findings indicated that XRP ranked as the third largest altcoin for which the 19 banks acknowledged substantial commitments. In particular, XRP constituted 2% of the total exposure of 9.4 billion, equating to a total XRP position valued at 188 million euros or $205 million. Within the top 20 reported crypto assets by exposure, other noteworthy entries include Cardano, DOT, Solana, Stellar, and Litecoin. Meanwhile, the report highlighted that most banks concentrated on Bitcoin and Ethereum investments. Respectively, these two assets constituted 31% and 22% of the 9.4 billion. Regarding investment vehicles tracking BTC and ETH, they make up 25% and 10%, respectively. BCBS's Disclaimer Given that the report was the inaugural data collection utilizing the new template, BCBS clarified that the findings could have potential biases and data quality issues. Moreover, it stated that it was unclear whether certain banks may have underreported or overreported their crypto exposures. As a result, BCBS noted that while the findings offer an overview of the member bank's crypto activity, they should be interpreted with a degree of caution. It is worth mentioning that the BCBS report relied on data the banks submitted in 2021. Besides, BCBS noted that the 19 banks represented a relatively small segment within the extensive sample of 182 banks, considered in its monitoring exercise, accounting for 17.1% of total risk-weighted assets, RWA, and 20.9% of the overall leverage ratio exposure measure. The majority of these proportions, approximately three-quarters, are attributed to banks from North America. Next. Here is how much big investors accumulated XRP in just one week. Data has shown that significant investors, commonly called whales, are accumulating XRP in anticipation of an upcoming XRP bull run. This strategic move coincides with XRP's prolonged stay in the consolidation zone, where it has struggled to demonstrate noteworthy performance compared to other digital assets such as Solana and Cardano. How much XRP tokens whales accumulated this week? In a recent tweet, the prominent market chartist Ali Martinez highlighted the significant amount of XRP tokens whales have accumulated over the past week. On-chain data from the renowned market intelligence platform Santiment backed Martinez's update about the XRP whale accumulation. According to the update, XRP whales have purchased approximately 360 million XRP between December 14th and 22. This buying spree amounted to a dollar value of roughly 223 million. Notably, these whales are investors typically holding between 10 million XRP to 100 million XRP. Per the chart accompanying Martinez's tweet, this new move to accumulate more XRP has not been observed for the last three months. Previous Whale Activities In September, when XRP's price was below the 0.5 threshold, the activities of these XRP whales contrasted with XRP's market performance. Meanwhile, as XRP experienced an upswing in the last days of October to mid-November, the actions of XRP whales closely mirrored the cryptocurrency's performance. In particular, the number of wallets holding at least 10,000 XRP reached an all-time high of 277,000 addresses during the period. 
This was amid XRP reclaiming the 0.6 threshold, having lost it back in August. Besides, transactions involving XRP valued over 1 million during the period reached a new high not observed in the prior three months. Data from the market tracker revealed that the last days of October saw 255 whale transactions of this magnitude. However, Despite the brief upward trends in XRP observed earlier this month, the activities of these whales diminished. Specifically, whale activities dropped to a low profile, similar to when XRP traded at 0.5. This was between November 26 and December 14, with XRP later retracing to near the 0.6 level. Nonetheless, the XRP whales have resumed accumulating XRP over the last seven days, suggesting a possible anticipation of the asset's next breakout. The data from BCBS revealing substantial investments by global banks in XRP is a significant indicator of the growing institutional interest in cryptocurrencies, particularly in altcoins beyond the more mainstream Bitcoin and Ethereum. I view this development as a major endorsement of XRP's potential. Firstly, the fact that XRP ranks as the third largest altcoin in terms of bank investments with a total value of around $205 million, is a strong testament to its perceived utility and potential in the financial sector. This investment is not a trivial amount. It's akin to a seasoned investor allocating a significant portion of their portfolio to an emerging, high-potential stock. XRP's focus on providing solutions for cross-border payments and its ties with the banking industry have likely played a pivotal role in garnering such attention from financial institutions. Moreover, the diverse geographical spread of these investments from Europe to North America and other regions underscores the global interest in digital assets and their potential to revolutionize the traditional financial system. The BCBS report, while pioneering in its effort to collect data on banks' crypto holdings, comes with a cautionary note about potential biases and data quality issues. This is a prudent approach, as the nascent and rapidly evolving nature of the crypto market can often lead to discrepancies in reporting and valuation. It's similar to the early days of reporting on internet company valuations, where estimates often varied widely. The recent whale activities in accumulating XRP, as reported, are also an interesting aspect of the market dynamics. Such large-scale purchases by whales can significantly impact the market. This accumulation suggests a bullish sentiment among these investors towards XRP, possibly indicating their belief in its upcoming price appreciation. In summary, the investments by worldwide banks in XRP, as reported by the BCBS along with the whale activities, highlight the growing institutional and large investor interest in the cryptocurrency. It reflects a broader trend of diversification and increased adoption of digital assets in the financial sector. This trend is a clear sign that cryptocurrencies are moving beyond niche applications and are being taken seriously by major players in the global financial ecosystem. As the market matures and regulatory landscapes evolve, it will be interesting to see how this interest translates into broader adoption and integration of cryptocurrencies, like XRP, into traditional financial systems. Do you think you would just pour such sums into an asset that is not worth it? Neither would I, which is why XRP has clear unrealized potential. In yesterday's video, I also shared my opinion on this issue. Now let's move on to the market overview. It won't be very long and extensive today because there's not much to review. Since yesterday, nothing has changed regarding Bitcoin and XRP. I don't really like these arcs. It promises a small correction, maybe. But there could be an impulsive move up out of the consolidation zone. For that, we need volumes, but for now, we watch and wait. The dominance became a bit higher than 52.7%, which is favorable for altcoins, but not for XRP as it turned out. XRP is relaxing on its bottom, where it seems to be comfortable for now. Honestly, I don't know what should happen to finally get out of this ass and start growing normally. There is so much good news and favorable factors, and it is still standing. Even lying down, as I said before, I see the potential and believe in XRP too, but so far the local factors speak for themselves. How many reviews I do, and it's still 0.6. I won't say I'm disappointed, but outraged for sure. That's the way it is, folks. I'll give an update tomorrow, maybe something will change. And don't forget the most important thing. Don't jump in on the highs and only then will everything work out perfectly. See you in the next videos.